All right, let's go ahead and check out um, forming our peptides uh, and creating these bonds. We'll take a look at a relatively simple example. We'll take a uh, look at the two most simple amino acids, alanine and glycine. Right, we've got our amine. We've got our alpha carbon with our R group. In the case of alanine, it's just a methyl. And then, of course, the carboxylic acid. And then for glycine, again, we've got an amino acid. So there's the amine, the alpha with the R group. In the case of glycine, the R group is just a hydrogen, so even simpler. And then, of course, the acid. And then we think about combining them in order to form a peptide. We've got two main options. So either this carboxylic acid condense, can condense with this amine, or this amine can condense with this carboxylic acid. So let's think about what our products are going to look like. If we um, condense the blue bonds that I've drawn here, we will have this product, right, our methyl there. In this case, the um, alanine is coming first. And now instead of having a carboxylic acid, we've got an amide. Then our R group, which in this case is just an H. And then our carboxylic acid. <clears throat> and then we can have the opposite. We can have the glycine come first. And then the alanine with its methyl and then the carboxylic acid. So in this case, again, right, we have alanine here, and then with the hydrogen glycine. So here we've got alanine, then glycine. And then on the other side, we've got glycine and then alanine, right? Again, glycine with the hydrogen and then alanine with the methyl. So you'll notice that I've actually drawn them in the same orientation, and this is by convention the way that we draw them. So by convention, it always goes from the N to the C terminus. And so the N refers to the mean, so that's the N terminus. And then the C refers to the carboxylic acid, so that's the T or the C terminus. Right, and then same thing, here's the N, here's the C, and it goes from N to C. And of course, that's just a dipeptide, so you can have uh, way more um, structures. So let's take a look at a uh, tripeptide. In this case, we'll do alanine, glycine, and then cysteine. So we'll start off by just drawing an amine, because that's what's going to show up at the end terminus. And then we're going to draw some sort of R group. Note that I put a wedge here. And then after that, it's going to go an amide. And then another R group. Note that I drew that as a dash there. And then another amide. Another R group, in this case, a wedge yet again. And then to end the polypeptide, we end up with a carboxylic acid. So let's cover a couple things. Um, we can see that in the middle, in the middle of our polypeptides, we have no amines or no carboxylic acids. We've only got amines. So generally when you're going from left to right, it's gonna go amine, then the alpha carbon with the R group. So there's the alpha carbon with R group, alpha carbon with R group, alpha carbon with R group. And then following the alpha carbon with R group, there's gonna be an amide. So there's our amide, amide. And then this section is going to get repeated. Right, notice we have multiple of purple and blue, right? Multiple um, alpha carbon with R group followed by an amide. And so that'll get repeated again and again and again until you reach the end of your polypeptide. And on the end of the polypeptide will be a carboxylic acid.
And then remember our carboc or our amino acids only come in one stereoisomer. And so it's really easy to draw them anytime the R group is pointing the kind of top direction or is on top, it's going to be a wedge. And anytime it's down here on the bottom, it's going to be a dash. And then finally, the last thing you have to do is replace these R groups with um, whatever they are. So let's get rid of these R groups, recolor it purple. And then in this case, alanine is just a methyl. So that just stays as just a CH3. Um, glycine is even simpler. That's just a hydrogen. So in this case, we actually don't need a wedge or a dash because that's our stereo center. And then cysteine is a uh, carbon and then an SH group. So it looks something like that. So just get used to kind of drawing polypeptides. This will obviously be some kind of question on the exam or whatnot. Um, and then one thing to kind of note here is note that both the amine and the carboxylic acid only show up at the ends. It's the uh, amides that show up in the middle. So we'll just say only show up on ends and the rest are converted to amides.